Hi, welcome to CMS. We'll continue now in the quant surveying for the horizontal structure element, which is the slabs, then special type of the slabs, which is the ribs or the hordy slabs. We'll start now with the normal slabs. We'll go for the slabs till mezzanine, as we mentioned before, that we consider here, or CMS considering that all the slabs below the typical floors have the same types and the same shape if not we we'll see also what to how to be calculated for the uh, sheets of the slabs we will find the description slabs till mezzanine or podium level as we agreed now or as we mentioned in our project we have two floors which is the ground floor and mezzanine floor as per the description ground floor and mezzanine floor So all the data which will be entered here, it will be multiplied by two, which is the number of the floors. If in your project, the slabs still mezzanine or podium don't have the same shape or same dimension or same thickness or same reinforcement, you shall put here number one and do the required changes here in these tables. You can separate for each type or for each, you have to insert each floor separately. In our case, we have the same as mentioned in our drawing, ground floor and first floor, which is the ground floor and mezzanine in our case, have the same shape. It's shared in one sheet only. In our slab, we have that's this shape of slabs. Here is mentioned the thickness of the slab and the, and the reinforced mesh. We find here the thickness of the slab is 26 centimeters. We have the mesh, top and bottom. We have the mesh, which means both direction, long span and short span. When you find mesh, that means it is in both direction. Otherwise, it will not be mentioned as a mesh. It, may be mentioned, it will be mentioned as a long span separately and short span separately. In our project, we have a mesh that means in both direction, diameter of 12 each 15 centimeters center to center as we mentioned before CMS know about the how many repair per meter where is this this will be top and bottom reinforced how this will be entered have first to put the dimension for the slabs we'll take all the dimension of the slabs entering in CMS by length and width in our case we have only one type of a slab with one thickness so that means we need to enter the area of these slabs, which we can enter by the using order of area in the AutoCAD. Could the slab in our project have the same thickness and same mesh for all the area? We can take the full area one time and put it in CMS. But because we have a voids in the center and also maybe some beams in the center in case of some beams in there in the inside the slab better we need to divide the slabs for proper areas for some areas can be avoid the voids inside the slab these voids like the staircase the lift pit any shafts for the building so the best way to separate the area is using the polyline the autocad uh, because we have an arches, this arch have a full uh, length, so it's better to divide it by segments uh, or to just make uh, some separation to stop the polyline on it, as we'll do now. We will avoid the beams, because the beams already beams area we already took before in the beams calculation, so don't need to repeat it again. You can take like this. And for, for the arch, as we mentioned now, that we divided in segments like this to take a proper areas. Of course, before starting any work on AutoCAD, you have to confirm that the AutoCAD is on scale. Before taking any dimension by AutoCAD, you have to confirm that the AutoCAD is drawn on scale. So now we have this area to, to know the area, just to click on the polyline and write and order list l i you will find here the area which you require 132 and a half square meters that's for this area only 
will continue also the same for the other side polyline and go through the areas corner by corner that's one of the ways to calculate the area or to enter the area if you can divide the slab for some ordered dimensions you can divide it and take the dimension for each part separately no problem you can do it feel free to choose the method of calculating the area as you said our aim is to avoid the opening and by the same way you will do the other part feel free to use your method to calculate the area either by the polyline or you can separate the slabs for an order dimension and you can take this dimension directly on the CMS you can put length and width at the end you will have an area for the slab you can enter in CMS only by length and width because as we see here in the CMS sheet for the slabs you will find the type and the floor you can mention for the name of the slab here and I mentioned also for the specified floor for each slab the number of this slab how many it will be how many time it will be repeated length of the slab and the width and thickness that means you have to enter the slab by length and width only if our slab with 350 square meter easily you can you can put it in two dimension which is the common two dimension in the drawing if we have here the common dimension is 15.4 so we can enter here the width is 15.4 and the length will provide by dividing the total area which we provided by the width which is, which is 15.4 to get the length of the slab and we'll put the thickness of the slab as it's mentioned in the drawing that's the way to entering the dimension of the slab any other types of the slab if you have another type of a slab this will consider this as an s1 or the flat slab you will write only the description here if you consider this like a flat slab just for your easy reference and when when you come back to check your dimension or you need to make any other modification we have here in our project another extra bottom repair and the extra top repair it's mentioned in the draw how we'll treat with this remember the same method which we used in the foundation especially in the raft foundation we will use the same we'll start with the bottom we have an extra rebar with dimension of 5 meters and repeated for 6.9 meter this bar of repeated 6.9 meter in one direction in the bottom what this type it's 16 milli and repeated each 15 centimeters in one direction that means we can mention here as an extra bottom one repeated one time the length the length is five meters for six point nine meter as it is mentioned and the depth of course is zero because we don't have extra concrete there we have only extra rebar with the reinforcement of 16 milli repeated for 6.7 time in the bottom rebar only in one direction so we'll write in one direction only the reinforcement detail which is only in the five meter you can also ensure about the length of the repair which is five meter here okay so we have one direction so that means we'll fill only this cell we don't have another direction we don't have bottom if we are talking about this one actually it is repeated here two times because we have the same here and there so you can consider this as a repeated two have also some repair around the uh, opening it is a uh, three pieces of 16 milli top and bottom by this dimension you will calculate also the length is 2.6 meter and here 4.15 you can consider all together is 6.75 so you can enter here 6.75 we have only three pieces 
so it is not an an issue to make it as a one meter and we'll put in this one meter a three pieces so three 60 milli top and bottom for the extra top we'll do also the same as we have here extra top one two and those we'll take it also one by one let's take one as an example we'll mention as a reference extra top a we have here that's the three part in the top we have one dimension with 16 milli each 10 centimeter another dimension 25 milli each 10 centimeter the lens is four meter it means this is four meter and this four meter if it is different lens it will be mentioned here but anyhow we have here four meter by four meter it will be entered on this cells like this also without any thickness okay then we'll go for the rebar you have here 25 milli each 10 centimeters that means 10 per meter and 16 milli in other direction to each 10 centimeters that means 10 16 10 per meter 16 diameter we will put here in the bottom by the way if, if you put it in the top or bottom it will not make any difference at the end it will be calculated the same but here we will put it in top as a reference also for us we'll make it 10 25 milli and 10 16 milli the another reward we'll find here two meter for one direction and multiply it in two meter direction so we have two meter by two meter but we have also one direction in the top we'll put it here because it is 20 centimeters so we have only five pieces per meter for diameter 16 milli and so on we'll do the same for all extra reinforcement for this slab and we, as we said before it will be multiplied by two because we have two slabs have the same shape which is for the ground floor and first floor or mezzanine floor as, as it is mentioned in the cms so at the end cms will give you the calculation and the output for the rebar for each diameter the total rebar required for these slabs the concrete which is required for these two slabs and the ratio between the rebar and the concrete which is also reasonable to us and also the shutters for the slabs per square meters which we, which will be required for the cost estimation and which will be required also to be mentioned in the boq for your pricing and budgeting and will be mentioned in the material which you have to provide you can go through this sheet by using these buttons as we mentioned before for saving your time okay that's the type of the slab which is a flat slab there is other types of slabs not only the ribs as we'll uh, speak about it later no some of the nearest type of the slab which is a solid normal solid slab which you will find in, in too much project the same way which we use it in the flat slab you will use it in the solid slab for solid slabs which have uh, internal beams and uh, slabs with different thickness you will use it the same way if you have a slab divided by some beams you will take the beams separately in the beam uh, sheets and the slabs will take each type of slab separately put the reinforcement which is there bottom and top and also if any extra and put the same uh, the same way which we entered the flat slab in CMS okay now what about the case of using the rib slab the hordy slab which we are using a hardy block or a polystyrene or light block or any kind of filling inside the slabs actually CMS give us a very good calculation on it it's giving us proper calculation for the required numbers of, of uh, ribs required uh, concrete requires number of blocks and required reinforcement for the full slabs Suppose you have a new project, ribbed slab or a hardy slab, which border with the beams, which can be treated in the CMS beam sheets, 
now we are talking about only the ribs actually you have a two choice either to consider this ribs as the beams and the boot in the in the beams sheet but in this case we have to calculate how many ribs you have and what are the exact numbers and maybe the blocks can be neglected in this time but better to go for the CMS sheet which make for you the, the calculation of ribs tab very easy which you will find it here ribs till mezzanine or the typical ribs or the roof rib system we'll start with the ribs till mezzanine you will find this sheet as we said before you consider here the numbers of the slabs here you have a two types of ribs either one way ribbed slab or two ways ribbed slab what the difference between one way or two ways here in our project we consider this is as a one way ribbed slab because this is the ribbed is by one direction only if we have one rib like this and another one in perpendicular that means it is a two-way rib slab so each type have a separate method for calculation CMS make it very easy for you what CMS require from your site to insert as you see here in the sheets of CMS if we are talking about the one way he need from you only the length and the width of the slab of the rib slab L is the rib length which is clear length of the slab the width is the slab width which is the perpendicular on the rib so the dimension which is perpendicular on the rib that means it is the width it is the width which is this one that's the width it will be of course it must be more than the length because the length of the ribs must be the smallest length of the slab so L is the length of the rib which is in the same direction of rib the width which is the other side so you will give him only the dimension this dimension and this dimension suppose it will be 5 meter for length of one rib and 8 meter for the repetition for the width what appears here directly appears the number of the ribs why he consider these numbers because there is another data not only these two dimension it's required also the, the description or the data of the blocks and ribs so let's start with the ribs it's, uh, itself according to the schedule we have here R1 which is 1620 multiplied by 25 what these numbers normally the ribs don't have one thickness that's the shape of the ribs sometimes the ribs have two width and one length two width and one length why because the dimension of the block is not straight the blocks is tapered from this side to avoid falling down so sometimes the block itself have two dimensions which is 36 centimeter from the bottom and 40 centimeter in the top this is very important to be in inserted also to CMS and we'll see how accordingly the ribs itself it will be 20 centimeter in the bottom and 16 centimeter in the top and the height it will be 25 centimeters which is the, the height of the block so we'll enter the width which is 16 and 20 we we'll give, we'll give only the average between 16 and 20 we enter only 18 and the height which is the rib depth per meter and to be the same of block height we have here either 20 centimeter or 25 centimeter or 30 centimeters that's the common hardy blocks used in all markets again we have here some dimensions must be inserted related to the block and rib here the bw is the hardy block width you will enter here the width in our case is 20 centimeter the block length in our case here we have 36 centimeter the rib width in our case here is 20 centimeter because this is 36 this is 20 if you put this 40 you have to put this as a 16 as mentioned here in the drawing so either to take 20 centimeter for the rib width and and 36 centimeter for the block width or 
15 cm for the rib width and 40 cm for the block width this to be entered as we mentioned here and here what is this one this is the internal rib which can be in the middle of the span if it's there in our case we have one and it is a 20 cm so we will mention the width of it here last thing we need to confirm and choose what is the type of the filling either it is a block or a polystyrene CMS have these two types either it's a block or the block or a polystyrene and for sure we will enter also the reinforcement of the ribs let's take an example we'll consider according to our project seven and a half meter for the length of the rib and repeat it in approximate 8.9 other ways so the length of the rib is seven and a half meter the width which is which which is repeated in is 8.9 meter we'll find here directly the number of the ribs it will be a 15 pieces sp1 and sp2 which is the solid part for both direction one is seven centimeter and another is five centimeter and the number of hardy block is 584 pieces when we enter the reinforcement of the ribs which is mentioned here in our schedule we have in the bottom 16 milli two pieces in the top 14 milli two pieces we'll just add it as we add before in the beams we have the bottom steel we have the top steel we have also the sidebar and the rings this will be entered the same as we mentioned before or, or as we inserted before in the beams and tie beams and so on so we'll just choose the diameter and choose the number of rebar in the in the bottom rebar the top the same we'll put the number of the rebars and the diameter for the ring as it is not mentioned any legs numbers it is two and according to the schedule we have eight milli each 20 centimeter that means five per meter eight milli ring and so on we will continue all type of ribs according to the types of ribs in the sheet here you can add as we mentioned for the same type of ribs and the same repetition we can add it here the length and the width the length and the width what we'll have at the end you will have the the length of the ribs the concrete for this ribs the steel required for this type of ribs that's the steel reinforcement ratio 195 kilogram per square per cubic meters and here is the number of the blocks which is 25 centimeter why it's only why it's choose 25 centimeters because you already entered for him the ribs height is 25 centimeters so the ribs height don't forget is the height of the blocks itself so what about if we have the two-way ribs so if we have a ribbed slab for the two-way r1 and r2 r y is the same as we mentioned before and r2 have different in the width size but it must be have the same height size otherwise it cannot be work in the same location uh, the bottom rebar is uh, 220 the top rebar is 218 and the ring is the same 8 millimeter each 20 centimeter and it is mentioned like this we have also the same length and width but we will do it in the two-way slab we'll choose from here we have 50 types in the one way and another 50 types in the two-way we will enter the length the clear length of each rib which you have here 7.5 meter and the other rib which is r2 is 8.9 and here as we mentioned for r1 we put also the repetition for both if it's there any repetition if this if this 
size of the slab is repeated will repeat it otherwise it will be one and we'll put the width as we agreed together before at uh, 16 and 20 the average of this 16 and 20 is 18 and the height is 25 centimeter we have for the other rib is 18 and 22 so the average is 20 so it is 0.2 we'll put per meter only and the height is 25 centimeter that means 0.25 Meter. We'll find here directly the number of ribs for R1 is 15 and number of ribs for R2 is 11. We have solid bar 5 cm, SP1, we have solid bar SP2 25 cm and the number of hardy block is 384. Don't forget to also add the number of the, the, the dimensions of the block as we mentioned before but here we have the two widths of the ribs, one rib related to the rib in L in length and the other is related to the ribs in width. So according to the drawing we have R1 and R2. R1 is the same as we mentioned before in the one way. We have 16 20 by 25, 2 16, 2 14 for the top rib bar, the, strip, the strips with 8 millimeters each 20 centimeter and the R2 the width is different 18 and the 22 so the average is 20 not 18 as R1 the height must be the same otherwise it cannot be worked together so the height must be the same R1 and the R2 there is a different rebar here is 220 in the bottom and 218 in the top and the steer up also 8 milli each 20 centimeters how we'll enter this in the CMS We'll find it here by very easy way. Let's take an example. If the height of the hardy block or the height of the ribs is changed till 30 centimeter, we'll find the numbers of the block are the same, but it's coming here under the 30 centimeter blocks. The number of blocks is related to the width of the block. If we change the block to a full screen, we'll use a full screen only. We we'll find the blocks, all the blocks is disappear. The only the polystyrene is appeared, but the number is changed because it's considered the polystyrene here by linear meters, not per piece. If you are using a block with another width size, which maybe it can be 24 centimeter or whatever, the numbers of the block will be changed accordingly. So be careful when you are entering the these types of data to gain and accurate quantities of materials. At the end, you will get all the steel quantities required for the ribs and the concrete for the ribs only and the ratio between the rebar and the concrete and the number of blocks or polystyrene for any type of the blocks or polystyrene required for this ribs. Actually, till now, the hardy slab not finished. That's the ribs only. When you have a hardy slab, you will have another type of slab above the rib which is this covering because the hardy slabs or the ribs and the block must be covered by another slab in our case we have a slab with eight centimeters for all the area with rebar with the minimum rebar of eight millimeter for each 20 centimeters this must be entered in the slab sheets only that means we have to go back for the normal slabs sheet we can mention here as an S for reps and enter the area as we calculated before in the slabs consider also the same 15 21 15.4 with the thickness of 8 centimeter which is 0 0.08 with rebar of 5 per meter 8 millimeter in both direction so last thing I need to add for the ribs in this case when we have a internal beam or internal rib crossing the one the one way rib we have to enter this information also but not in the rib we have to mention there in the beams so we'll We'll take a table and put the name, insert the dimension, 
which is 20 by 25 or whatever and you'll put the length which we have here is almost 8.9 plus the rebar which mentioned in the schedule 220 in the bottom and 220 in the top and the ring the same 8 milli so we'll mention here 220 in the bottom and the 220 in the top and the ring 5 per meter that's how you will enter everything related to the ribs slab the same we will do for the other location in the typical floor and the floor and roof floor and you do the same till this point we finished all the structure coin surveying using CMS next we'll start in the other aspects of coin surveying which is the masonry and finishing and the other aspects to go for masonry work it's direct in the page of the quant surveying when you click the masonry work you will find two buttons one for the opening schedule and one for the block work for proper quant surveying and estimation for the block work it's better to insert in the beginning all the openings of the project so the step one here we will start to insert all the openings of the project for our project as you see here in the page of the openings it's divided for a timber work and aluminium work this kind of divisions is required for the cost estimation in the next step so in this first the first table will add all the types of the opening with timber work like the doors the second portion will add all the openings related to the aluminium work commonly it is the windows or the curtain walls in the building for example we will find each type of doors have a definition and code and each type of windows have a definition also and the code all the required now is to insert each type with its related dimension width and length and also the quantity for each type or either for the timber work or the aluminium work back to CMS we insert all the types of the timber work we insert the dimension height and width for each type and the numbers of each type CMS will give us the area for piece and the total area for each type the same for the aluminium work like windows or curtain walls or any other type you will just insert the type and the dimension and the quantity according to the drawings that's the first step and it is a very easy action the next step as we saw in the masonry work page is to go for the block work either we'll go by next or we'll go back by for quant survey and go for masonry and choose block work or we click only next we'll find ourselves in the masonic work that's the sheet of the masonry work we'll find here the steps which we which we shall follow to insert all the requirements and we'll find how to get all the outputs later so the first step insert the block type when you click here it will direct you to add the block types for your project you have to insert here all the block types using in your project like the solid block if you have solid block if you have hollow block solid block with all dimensions hollow block with all dimensions if you have a light block or AAC block or thermal block or whatever the kind of the blocks you have to add it here in the beginning you have to add the blocks along with their size for each type of the block so that's the first step if you will use a ready mortar we'll go for second step asking you to insert the ready mix consumption how many kilogram required for one meter and giving you to give you one centimeter thickness this will be mentioned in the data sheet of all the ready mix uh, mortar so you can easily take this number and put it here this will help you in case of using a uh, ready mix for block mortar that means you have to choose the filling mortar type either it will be mixed on site 
or it will be a ready model which is the step three choose the block type for substructure and superstructure and the mortar type and the thickness of the mortar that means you will choose the mortar type and also the thickness of your mortar if here you will find the page is divided for a substructure bricks which is the block work required for the substructure work and superstructure masonry work by default cms will consider all the substructure masonry work related to the foundation and the strap beam shutters you will just choose the type here which you require when we was working in the foundation let's go back for foundation we choose shutter for the solid block if we change this type for solid 15 centi and go back for the masonry work we will find the quantity of the masonry work here coming for the solid block of 15 that's why we have to enter first the type of the masonry of the type of the block related to the substructure work before we go and choose it in the foundation and according to our choice and our data inserted here in the masonry work for the substructure work it will be considered as a shutter for the, for the foundation in case if we choose the block work as a shutter of the foundation and the strap beam furthermore we will choose the type of the mortar either it is ready mix or mix on site this will help you later to calculate all the required mortar for the project either it is a ready mortar or a mix on site mortar CMS will consider this information to calculate all the required material for the cement and sand or black sand or water or whatever all this will be considered by CMS at the end CMS will gather all those materials and the information for more purpose related to the price for each activity because as we said before CMS will divide all the activity for for all the basics items and all basics materials to calculate the cost and also to give you a material takeoff therefore you have to choose which type of mortar you will you will use this also will help you to decide which type of the material you will use because when you are changing the type of the, the mortar the price will change so you will decide either you will go for the normal way for the mixing on site material or to purchase a ready mix according to the price or according to the total cost for each activity as we'll see later and here we'll find the area of the block which is required related to this substructure work or related related to the shutters of the foundation or strap beam you can add here the immersion which may be took place in your project according to workmanship and your site condition furthermore if you have in the substructure any other kind of block like water tank shutter or boundary wall substructure block you can add here the length of the block work and the height of this wall and again you will choose the mortar and the thickness of the mortar required for this activity so we will enter the type of the block or we will choose the type of the block from this from the, all these types by the way all the types you, you will insert here you will find in this list so you will choose your type of block you will choose your mortar thickness of the mortar and you will add the length and height of the walls for the substructure and in case if you have any opening in the substructure you can add it here directly plus the version of the block work according to your site condition and your requirement and this column you will add only here the repetition the repetition of this wall if you have this walls repeated more than one time you have to change this one to another number at the end cms will give you the area for the block plus all the required mortar plus the block quantities and the mix and the required mortar either it is mixed on site or ready mortar by ton the same cms will calculate for you the superstructure masonry work as you see that's the form of the masonry work for the superstructure it is the same with substructure but you have here the location and the floors you can add it for your reference you will enter here also the repetition as the repetition as we mentioned before in the substructure of course you will have to choose all your type of the blocks
and the mix of the block and the thickness then you will enter the length and the height if we we'll go for your drawing it's required now to take all the length and the height for all this block work according to their type so if we we'll talk about the external block work which may be a thermal block of the 20 centimeter or 30 centimeter we just choose here the type of the block and we'll start to enter all the required all the length of the block either taking the length direct by the dimension or to draw a polyline passing for all the required block have the same shape or the same type then enter the length of the polyline direct here with inserting each type of the block and each wall you have to enter also the related opening for each wall and if you are talking about this wall we can take it direct 3 meter 60 and insert here the type of the opening for example when you add all the lengths of the block work have the same type of the block you will choose the opening related to these walls for the timber work or for aluminium work or for others if we go for timber work and try to choose the, the type of the opening just to choose whatever mentioned in the drone for each wall you can choose three type of timber work and three type of aluminium work if the six cells are not enough you can add another opening you can add other opening here in this column if this length will be repeated for number of floors you can add the repetition here the same you will do for all type of the block you have in the project according to our project we have external for AAC block with 20 something we have external also for AAC block for 10 something and the internal 10 something intern and the internal 20 something so according to your project you will insert all the type of the block work here and try and start to choose it to choose them from the type and adding your length and height then you will start to insert your opening for each wall as we mentioned before the same of the margin also you can add it at the end the same as will calculate for you all the area for all types of block quantity of each type of the block quantity for the mortar which is mixed on site and the quantity of the mortar which, which is ready mix at the end same as will give you for all the project all the types of the block quantity areas and the quantities and the, all the mortars required by the way, Sim is giving you here an illustration informing you about what is the how to insert the size of the block itself. The L is the length of the block. The H is the height of the block. The W is the width of the block. Plus, giving you he is giving you also an advantage to calculate all the required accessories for the block, like the ceiling tie or wall tie or the GI mesh which are repeated according to your project specification so when you insert a spacing between each ceiling tie and the spacing between all the ties of the wall ties and the spacing between all the GI mesh the spacing that mean each how many layers we will put but you will, you will calculate it and put it here by centimeters then same mesh will calculate for you approximate quantity of the block work accessories required in the project that's why when you are entering the length of the block work it's better to enter wall by wall because CMS will consider each length of the wall supported with wall tie all the information calculated here in the masonry work the CMS will transfer and reflect in all the project aspect as we said before it will be considered in the quant surveying and the project cost estimation the cost estimation for each activity and the full budget for the project and it will be considered also in the scheduling and all the project management and the material take off
you will find here all the types of the block work the area and the block quantity and the required sand and cement and ready mortar and water for each type and then and the total at the end that's for the machinery work on surveying and see you in the next video